this is a man's world. Hey, this is Nick. I uh, just wanted to show you uh, a little bit about what D7 can do as far as uploading reports to PC Repair Tracker. Um, it's a pretty neat feature that Luke and I came up with recently, and um, we think that users of both products will enjoy it. So, let's get started. Um, first, you need to, of course, set up your uh, FTP directory um, within uh, PC Repair Tracker. Um, configure your depths.php file. Um, instructions for this can be found um, not only in the, the latest release of PC Repair Tracker, but you can also find instructions on my website under D7's online manual. There should be a link about setting it up to work with PC Repair Tracker. So, getting started, once you have everything configured and you start D7, you will get a prompt and of course I need to show you the configuration so you can enable this um, and I'll get to that in a moment but we'll deal with the prompt first um, I have this uh, setup reporting features prompt um, two options on it enter client name and enter a unique number to track this PC or ticket um, below that of course it says if using PC repair tracker this should be your asset tag number in order for reports uploading to function properly um, that's not necessarily true. Reports uploading will function regardless, but it will go a lot smoother if you have the um, the actual number um, for your for your uh, uh, your your um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and enter that information in. And D7 will start. Uh, basically, um, D7 will only prompt you for this information each time you run it on a new system. Um, D7 stores the uh, information on what system it's running on in the D7 INI file. Um, and it basically just uses the computer name to decide if it's on a new system or not. So, um, if you uh, plug in your flash drive or whatever and D7 detects a new computer name it'll assume automatically you're on a new system and prompt you again. Okay, um, in config you want to go to reports and to make that prompt you just saw happen you need to check prompt for client name slash ticket slash work order number blah 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 blah. It's just this checkbox so you need that checked. Um, the reports directory naming convention actually uh, makes no difference what you set it as. Um, however, the uh, number variable is new, and that is the number that uh, that you would use with PC Repair Tracker, that asset number. But uh, really, you can put whatever you want there. Um, so once you have this setting checked, you want to go to the um, FTP server settings. Um, of course put in your PC Repair Tracker server and credentials. The config directory it really doesn't matter what you make this as long as it's a sub of the root. So the root being just the forward slash. Um, D7 will create that directory and it will store your config in there and that really has nothing to do with uh, PC Repair Tracker but it's just another, another little option you have. Uh, and then we have uh, the reports directory. Now in this field you must enter a single forward slash and that is it. Um, PC Repair Tracker monitors the home directory that you create for your FTP user. It does not monitor subdirectories so you just want a single slash. Um, below that zip reports before upload. If you're, you should check this if you're using PC Repair Tracker of course. If you're not uh, you may want your reports uploaded that are not zipped. You may want them individually uploaded, but otherwise if you're using PCRT that definitely needs to be checked. Once these items are good, um, you, you will of course restart D7 and you will see that prompt. You'll also have the opportunity, if for example you make a mistake or don't have the information available at the time, you need to skip it, um, you uh, have the number and name display right here. You see 100 Fu Manchu is my user or my, my owner. And if you just click that, it'll give you the prompt again where you can modify that information. So let's say you've got some reports. 
we'll just do a quick info report guess it really doesn't matter all I'm doing is uh, putting something in the reports directory you know and the info report is just as good as anything once you have the info report done, you've got your reports. Um, you, you may go through your malware removal, your maintenance, etc., etc. When you're finished with the system, um, you can go to the FTP menu and you can do move reports to FTP. Likewise, we have uh, close with options, which is one of those things that you do uh, is typically the very last thing that you do. Um, when you're when you're done running D7 on a system, and this gives you a ton of options here. One of them being move reports to your FTP server, and that's the other uh, thing that um, will happen there that will make that happen. This is the PC repair tracker uh, interface. Um, you have your systems on the bench, and you'll notice I have my Fu Manchu guy. Um, going to go back to that D7 copy and move reports to FTP very quick once I get back to my repair tracker I'll be honest I'm not sure if I have to refresh this window or not but I'm going to refresh it just to make things go a little more smoothly and you'll notice right up here I have D7 reports already so if I click on that I actually have three options. Um, the first being attach a single D7 report um, where you can choose a particular work order, choose a particular report and attach it, or you can do multiple reports at one time. Now if I had three or four reports up here and three or four systems on the bench they would all appear here and with one click I could assign all of those reports to the ticket number. Now I mentioned that you had to use the asset or ticket number or I'm sorry I don't know the exact terminology for PC repair tracker I call it a ticket number. Um, this is where I mentioned earlier you did not have to have the exact ticket number when you do the reports transfer um, but if you don't you will have to use the attached single D7 report feature now if you did use the proper ticket number now you've got transfer multiple D7 reports and you've got this already here it's checked repair tracker knows because of the ticket number exactly what system that belongs to and then because of the other information in the file name, it's got the name, uh, the, the last modified date, of course, um, etc. So we'll just hit attach D7 reports. And bam, it's attached. Now your reports are attached to Fu Manchu. And I'm sure you can see them in here somewhere. Ah, there we go. PC attachments, D7 report, edit, delete. Um, so your reports are right there. They're being stored in Repair Tracker. I don't know what else I can show you about this, but I just thought this was really neat. So if you think it's cool too, um, I highly encourage you to go ahead and start using that feature. And that's been about it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. To carry the heavy load Made me the electrolyte Take us out of the dark